advanced revenue management adding fair value formulas all right so here we are fair value formulas sweet answer 49179 so let's go have a look there 49179 fair value formulas are used in a fair value price list and on item revenue category records the formulas appear in a drop down list on those records you set up the formulas that appear as options on the lists on the fair value formula page the fair value formula permission controls access to this page this permission belongs to the lists permission type the formulas use field values from the revenue arrangement body and from the revenue element lines you can select properly formatted fields from the field drop down list in the formula assistance or type them directly in the fair value formula field the proper formats are as follows all right so here you can see the proper formulas formats for these fields custom fields for revenue elements are also included in the list if they are of types currency decimal number integer number or percent note when alternative quantity alternate unit types and alternate unit fields in a revenue element a revenue element are populated the quantity field can use the alternate quantity to use alternate quantity the fair price fair value price record must include value for unit type and units fair value formulas use symbols for the basic operators multiply divide add and subtract other supported functions are listed in the function list in the pop-up formula assistant for syntax and descriptions of the support of the supported function see fair value functions all right so if i go open fair value functions all right so you can see there is a number of fair value functions i am in my example i'm actually going to use this one here okay all right so let's go into netsuite and let's go look at um, the formula set up sorry sorry it's actually on the setup escape me for one moment there so you go down to revenue under setup accounting then revenue and here is the formulas and so here is the formula that I set up and it's really quite simple you just put a name and a description and the formula you can see I struggled to get the formula right there but essentially I'm using this group sum this one here so group sum then you've got your revenue allocation group right which is enterprise so I'll just show you how this works all right so here I have a sales order that I set up of these three items I've got professional service a license and then maintenance right and you will see here under revenue allocation group I've set the professional services to enterprise I've set the per 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 perpetual license to enterprise right so that is why this formula is going to look at the amounts in these two lines All right, which is enterprise it's going to take their amounts and it's going to go times 25 percent right and so essentially what it does is it's going to look at this line and say even though it says 20 percent there i've got 25 percent that this can only be a maximum of 25 percent of the sum of these two amounts All right so that is an example of a fair, fair value formula you can also make a copy so it's quite easy to copy them and you'll see here is how you can pick fields there's your functions and you can type in these operators yourself so this is one example but obviously there's a very wide range of possible formulas that you can set up for your fair value